Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate any of the font, any of the font text in 3D, make it as a 3D mesh for any of the font style and font font size, and create any of the collisions, the complicated collision for your Unreal Engine 4 game project. And now I'm going to show you a demo. This is the one that I already created. You can see in this game. Now, all these 3D fonts, it already have certain collisions set here. It can block the players, etc. And all of these fonts are really in 3D. And how to generate this? All right, so start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. All right, in your Unreal Engine 4, first you back to the contents and stand by it here. Next. One of the software that you needed is the SketchUp. This is the SketchUp Pro, and I will just give you a demo from beginning. Start a new project. I don't want to save anything, and this is the, the SketchUp. All right, in your SketchUp Pro, the first thing what you need to do is click, click the avatar and press delete buttons to delete it. We don't want that. Next, you right click here to activate the large tool set. Just activate the large tool set. This one, not the layer. Once you already activate the large tool set, it is here. This is a 3D text that you can generate. Click, and then here you can select, select the font size, it can be Times New Romance. It can be any of, of the font. For example, now if I want this font size, sorry, this font style, and I can just type it here, Monster Zone. For example, you want to create for your game. And then you want it to be center aligned. It is up to you. And then can be extruded. So now once you click place, it will place. So you move your mouse cursor to the center here and place at the center. Now it, it already become, become a 3D. And then now you can just export it as FBX file in order to import into your Unreal Engine game project. So now, for example, this monster, all right, this one. <laughs> It's a typo arrow. I'm going to press click and press delete button. All right. So I will just select it and press delete. I do it again. Click here. Monster zone. And then click place. I place at the center. And then next, I will export it as FBX file. So click file, export. 3D model, export as FBX file, and I will just name it as Monster Zone. All right, now the typo arrow. I will export it on my desktop, and then I click export. It is an FBX file now. So next, you back to your Unreal Engine project here. You can just Right click, new folder. And as demo, I will just name it as Monster Zone Text 3D. All right, double click the folder. Next, you drag in the FBX file, drag in. And then click Import All. And now this is just a lock, a message lock. You can close it. You can see now it is already become, become a 3D model here. This is the 3D model. It is a 3D model. So what do you need to do? All right, now I close it again. This is a 3D model. Of course, the first you have to set the collision, you double click it, double click. And then the collision here, 
the collision complex CD, you choose use complex collision as symbol. Then you can just save it and close. Next, you can drag it into your game. And then, of course, you can just make it bigger. This is too small. You may change the scale. Let's say the scale is 1.0. I change it to become 20. Wait, this one. Change it to become 20. Here, also change it to become 20. Here, 20. All right, now you can see this is a 3D text. If it is too big already, make, just make it small. Make it 10 is OK. Now, next, I may just press, press E so that I can rotate it. And then rotate. And then, of course, if you want to wait, if you want to make it make it tickle, you can just change the change the scale. You press R, then you drag it to make it tickle. It is okay. Now, if you try to play, all right, you try to play. It already have a certain collision. So, for example, you jump it up, you jump up to here. It have certain collision now. See, you can stand on all of, all of this, this text. It is really awesome, really easy to generate any of, of the three D text meshes with any font size, with any font style, and any font size, and set the collisions, and it will become part of your game. It has certain collisions so the player can interact with, with all these 3D meshes. It is really easy. And that's all for today about how to generate any of the font text in 3D mesh and send it to Unreal Engine game project to make it have certain detailed collisions with the player or just become part of your game. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.